Hello, hello, viewers! Welcome again to Cat Eyes channel. Today, I will show you some tips to choose the right blade for PVE and PVP. If you have other opinions later, welcome to share on this video's comments. Okay, now let's take a look for PVP combination. Let's take the Bio Shark Blade as a sample. For PvP priority, attack power, devast and unparalleled, crit chance, back damage, movement speed. If you have the blade formula, you can modify it to get max attack power. And the recommended combination is like this. If you don't have max attack power, you can buy the one with unparalleled and minus one attack power. For main weapon modification, recommended to upgrade crit chance or crit immunity rate or back damage increase it. Increase damage to players or reduce damage from players or improve movement speed. Increase short ring damage or reduce long ring damage. Special kill, skill, crit combo or close defense. You can start renovation to guarantee you to get all that skills. And you can save later the plan by click save as plan. You can save the plan by any names, e.g. PvP. For PvP Aux weapon, you only need to get higher crit chance and damage bonus. You can learn later how to increase crit chance and damage bonus by level up accessories, star up, special research, formula compilation, gear and formula modification, gen modification, and many more. As Ox weapon, crit chance and damage bonus will be 25% for main weapon, so the higher the better. For special skill on Ox weapon, you can choose tactical cooperation, so main and Ox can be matched at will. For PvP helmet, you can add anti fire customization if you have an upgrade crit chance or crit immunity rate or back damage increase. It. Reduce damage from players or increase damage to players or improve movement speed. Increase short range damage or reduce long range damage. Special skill, dynamic tracking or static recognition. And for PPP armor, you can use custom anti fire or modify the skill. Upgrade crit chance or crit immunity rate or back damage increase it. Reduce damage from players, increase damage to players, improve movement speed. Increase short range damage or reduce long range damage. Special skill. Well equipped or eight, and for PVE combination, for PVE priority max attack power, damage to infected, devastated, or unparalleled crit chance, and it is recommended to buy a blade with a max attack power and increase damage to infected. For doing area operation, weekly operation operations, fat operations, that height, and many more. And this is what happen if the warrior get pissed off in PvE. For main weapon modification, recommended to upgrade crit chance or damage caused by infected reduced Increase damage to infected or increase damage to humanoid monster. Increase short range damage or reduce long range damage. 
or you can special skill crit combo same with the pvp blade for aux weapon you need crit chance and damage bonus the higher the better for special skill on aux weapon you can choose tactical cooperation so men and aux can be matched at will For PvE helmet, you can set up this upgrade crit chance and damage to infected. You can upgrade crit chance or damage caused by infected reduced. Increase damage to infected or increase damage to humanoid monsters. Increase short range damage or non firearm slash range increase. And special skill dynamic tracking or static recognition. For PvE armor, you can modify to get crit chance and damage to infected. You can upgrade crit chance or damage caused by infected reduced. Increase damage to infected or increase damage to human monsters. Increase short range damage or non firearm slash range increase. And special skill close struggle. If you have any questions later, just drop them on this video's comments, okay? I will reply you as soon as possible. That's it, survivors. You also can upgrade your gen modification, mutation core, tactical chips, and many more to switch between VPE and PvP. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye. See ya.